43 points separate Hearts and Ross County, but the only points that matter on Saturday are the three points for victory. Welcome back, guys. It's on Scotland TV here to preview Ross County versus Hearts and Dingwall for match day 30 of the Scottish Premiership. Now, it's a weird time of the season as a Hearts fan because normally we're in a battle for third. However, the battle for third this year is non-existent. We've already got it wrapped up and as you would expect, we're just too far behind the old firm to do anything. Although, at least this season, let's give Hearts a lot of credit. We are closer than we've been in a very long time. We're only 13 points behind Celtic and 15 points behind Rangers. So... We're all, I think we're the same point, we're same amount of points ahead, behind Celtic as we are ahead of St Mirren. So it just shows that this year we have been the clear best of the rest. We've been too good for everyone else in the league, but we're not quite good enough yet to get onto the level of Celtic and Rangers. But I want to see us continue where we have started this season. I don't want to see the season fizzle out. Just because we're going to get third, just because we're guaranteed to get third, doesn't mean that I want a poor end to the season where we're dropping points and then we just get over the line and we end up finishing, you know, like 20, 25 behind the old firm. I don't want that. I want us to try and have our best season, at least in my lifetime. At the moment, we're on 55 points. There's 27 points to play for until the end of the season. If we got 27 points, points unlikely but if we did get nine wins from nine it would put us on 82 and there's been years where 82 has been more than enough to win you the scottish premiership now i don't think we're going to get 82 but i want us to at least aim for 70 if you can get 70 for a, a team outside of the old firm then that's a great season and we deserve a great season we've had a great season we need to finish this season being great so i want to try and get to 70 points and then build on that next season if we get to 70 points this season and if we can improve on that next season then we will be very very close to both celtic and rangers but anyway let's talk a little bit about ross county i've actually i actually think they've found a little bit of form in recent weeks in their last what four scottish premiership games they have only lost one they picked up a victory with two draws. So they have five points out of a possible 12. Not the worst record for a relegation-threatened side. And they are actually closing the gap to Aberdeen. So Ross County, there's a lot at stake for them in this game. They know that if they can defeat us, they would get three points and they would go level with Aberdeen and they would potentially come out of that relegation playoff system. So Ross County maybe have a little bit more to play for. There's maybe more of an incentive for Ross County to get something out of this match because like I said earlier with us I mean it's win lose or draw it doesn't really matter you know we're going to finish third either way um there's a lot of talk about Rangers and how they would rather lose in Europe so they can go on and do well domestically well I think as a Hearts fan I'm at the point now where I would settle for our domestic form in the league kind of going off a little bit despite what I said about wanting to get to 70 points <laughs> I would actually settle for us slipping up in the league a little bit if it meant we could beat Rangers and get into the cup final so I think it goes hand in hand though I think if we can continue our momentum in the league hopefully that will carry on to the cup but uh, yeah Ross County they've not had a great season Malky Mackay I think was sacked probably too soon I don't think it was fair how they, uh, they kicked him at the club. And then, of course, they brought in that Derek Adams. What a fucking mongoloid he is. Uh, a terrible addition to Scottish football. Thankfully, he didn't last long. And now we have Don Cowie in there, who is doing a pretty good job. And I think he probably will get that job permanently if he hasn't already been made the permanent manager. Now, Ross County do have some injuries for this game. Dylan Smith, Ross Callaghan, Scott Allardyce and Will Nightingale are all sidelined. But Hearts have even more injuries. And uh, we're still with it. a host of players, including Barry McKay, Craig Halkett, Frankie Kent, Liam Boyce, Peter Haring and Yataro Oda. So, I mean, it's going to be difficult for Naismith again. We, you know, we've never really had a good season for injuries in a while now. I mean, last season was terrible. This season... I guess it hasn't been as bad as last season, maybe, but it's still not been good. This has still been a poor season for us in terms of injuries. And, I mean, who's who's he going to start? 
it, it's going to be Sander Clark, but I do think that maybe Craig Gordon should be the number one. i am maybe put a poll up for that because, yeah, no, for me, Craig Gordon... He's been hard done by. He was the undisputed number one. He was our best goalkeeper. You know, he got that double leg break. Sander Clark came in and done a good job. But did he do a good enough job, in my opinion, to demote Craig Gordon? I don't think so. I think it's harsh to demote Craig Gordon just because he got a double leg break. For me, Gordon should have been given the opportunity to come back in and earn his starting position. Now, he has played well in the Cups. So that's not really, though, promoting him back into the league number one goalkeeper. He's still just the Cup goalie right now. But, yeah, I I'm a bit sad for Craig Gordon. I wanted Craig Gordon to go on to the Euros this season. It's going to be difficult with him not being the number one at Hearts, but who knows? Maybe he can go on and do that. But in terms of a Hearts possible lineup, I think we're going to be looking at Clark and Nets. Atkinson, Kingsley, Civic and Cochrane, uh, Neuwenhoff, Devlin, Fargas, Fraser, Alan Forrest, who I think has been really good this season. Um, very impressed with Alan Forrest. He's probably, I think this is the best period. This, this like maybe the last three, four months. It's the best he's been in a heart shot. And then, of course, it's going to be Lauren Shankland up front because, I mean, why wouldn't it be Lauren Shankland? You know, he is the man. He is the goal scorer. He's our best player. And I think he is the... If not the best player, he is one of the best players in the league and undoubtedly the best striker, best goal scorer in the league. So, yeah, that's my team. That's the team I think we'll go with. In terms of prediction, I do believe Hearts will win this match. I'm going to go, I think it'll be tight. I think it will be close, but I'm going to go Hearts 2, Ross County 1. Ross County are desperate to pick up more points, but I don't think they're going to get any tomorrow. So, yeah, that's my prediction, guys. Let me know what you think down below. I've been Science Scott on TV. I will catch you tomorrow for the match review and hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better because my throat at the moment isn't too great but they're uh, hanging in there and uh, yeah hopefully a nice wee win for three points for hearts that might be what cheers me up that might be the medicine that I crave but anyway guys I'll catch you in the next one till then peace